Yo, what's good? It's Mastermind MMA. And uh, I went out to shop for some dinner, you know, and uh, pick up a six pack of Red's Apple Ale. Because that's my shit. When I'm not drinking hard liquor, I drink some Red's Apple Ale. Because it tastes good as shit. Gets the job done. You know when, like, you're drinking, like, say, Coronas or any other beer. Or if you're at a fucking frat party and you're drinking fucking Natty Ice. Uh, you know, you, you always get that beer taste and it takes a, a few of them to get used to it. You know, and then you start, you know, the beer taste kind of goes away once you get that buzz on. But this shit tastes delicious. And, um... Gets you a nice good buzz. Like I, I, I usually kill the pack in one session, and it, it does me good. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. Let me take a sip, and I'm about to get in. So basically, I read that someone got popped for PEDs, and I'm sure you guys know. It's Leoto the Dragon Machida. What the fuck? I I I wouldn't have expected that from him, to be honest with you. Because Leoto, I don't he doesn't come off as I I, I don't wanna say that, but honestly he he seems like a, a nice guy, like very karate morality type that's immoral to do peds so i'm not gonna but i mean hey you never know who someone is right but he's pulled from the fight on sad when was it i think it's a saturday yeah he's pulled from the fight on saturday ufc fox on 19 that's the glover rashad card it was supposed to be, if if my facts are right in my dome piece, it was supposed to be Khabib and Tony Ferguson uh, headlining it. You know what happened there. They bumped up Glover and Rashad to main event and Lyoto, Dan Henderson 2 to co-main. And now the card is pulled all together. And uh, Lyoto addressed this. And he said... Uh, okay, so let me just read you the quote. The UFC organization was made aware today by the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency, which is USADA, the independent administrator of the UFC anti-doping policy that Leota Machida declared the usage of a banned substance during an out-of-competition sample last week. Machida stated that he was unaware that the substance was prohibited both in and out of competition, and in accordance with UFC anti-doping policy, his disclosure of usage will be taken into consideration by USADA during any potential results management and education process. Uh, basically, uh, fucking doing like a little blurb of that, and what they're basically saying in non-professional terms is, he told them, he, 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 whatever it was that he was doing, and they're like, you can't be doing that. And he's like, oh, I didn't know. Basically, it they pulled him from the card. Dan Henderson reacts on Twitter, and he just says, P-O-S, no respect. He called him a piece of shit. And you got to remember, Dan Henderson lost that fight, the first one, Due to split decision. So. He was looking to to avenge a loss at this age. You know he just got knocked out by Vitor. And uh. This is what they gave him. And now they said they're going to reschedule him. For a new fight. At a later date. And I can't. You know. What my first thing of Lyoto Machida was, like my first kind of memory and perception of him was in the UFC game. I think it was like Undisputed 2009 or some bullshit. In the first UFC game, no, it was it might have been the next one. All right, because I remember when the very first UFC game 
when you downloaded the demo, not this new one, not the one with John Jones and Gus on the cover. There was a, a few ones before that. So they there they had a demo with Chuck Liddell and Shogun. And then the next demo of the next game had Leota Machida and I think Chuck. And dude, Leota was who I used all the fucking time. So just because I did that, it kind of immortalized Leota on my head a little bit. Not not immortalized, but you know, I was like, yo, that that's my guy, Leota. You know what I mean? He's a nice guy. You know. Uh, I didn't hear about him drinking his own piss till fairly recently, and, you know, he fell off, but, man, Gegard Musasi was accusing him of taking peds. If you guys remember, Gegard was saying, he's a cheater, I want to fight Lyoto Machida clean, and then this test comes up. Makes me uh, take some accusations a lot more seriously. But not really, man. You can't take everything. I mean, honestly, I feel like if Connor, because that he he's being accused of that right now. They're accusing Connor. Uh, not they, but you know Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz's coach. Even after he beat Connor, Connor's. Co- I mean, uh, Nate's coach was like, "Oh yeah, no, he's definitely juicing." Jose says he juices. Jose, Mister, spill my piss. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's crazy, man. You Sada, man. Shit. You Sada does not fuck around. I mean, they're really cleaning the sport up. I just hope the sport stays the same. <laughs> I hope, like, a, a, a big part of the sport wasn't PEDs, you know? Like, you'd like to think that's... That's the minority, but I really hope the we don't see a lot of important guys get popped. Yoel Romero, I give him that benefit of the doubt. You know, I, 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 they said it was part of a contaminated supplement. I agree with that. Leoto, my guy. But, I mean, I guess he didn't. I, I don't know, man. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. You already know it's Mastermind MMA.